Hey, what's up, Sailor Guardians? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. I have a haul from Box Lunch. Box Lunch just released a new fashion collaboration with Sailor Moon. Everything just recently came out on Black Friday during the 2023 holiday season. I was able to get everything except for a dress, which released online a little bit later than everything else. So I did not order that piece. However, I do have everything else for you. You. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'll let you know my thoughts, how the sizing went, and I will also show you a fitting right next to me while I'm talking through all these items. Let's get started with this super cute shirt and matching cardigan. This very cute top has adorable straps up at the top. They are not adjustable and it does go down pretty far on your back. I will say I ordered a medium and a small but it's stretchy enough that I was able to fit into the small just fine. And I really, really like how it looks and I love how it stretches against my frame. So I went with the small. The embroidery of the cats on the front of this is very, very cute and very winter inspired. That kind of reminds me of like sparkles during the holiday or snowflakes really cute but you could definitely wear this into the springtime too this is a thicker quality material and it is extremely soft i was very impressed by how this feels it feels it's just so soft it feels very very comfortable to the touch this is made out of oh it's the viscose that's why so it is 50 percent recycled polyester love that as well as polyester and viscose. So the nice thing with this top is there's also a matching cardigan that you could buy separately. Here's the matching cardigan, which I also purchased in a small. I noticed that the sleeves are like the perfect length for my body type, which I am 5'6", to give you an idea of how tall I am. This is also extremely soft. I feel like it might be made out of the same material. It is. Yeah, recycled polyester, polyester and viscose. It does come with an extra pink button. There are a couple of pockets on the front in these huge embroidery prints of the Sailor Kitties. I did want to make mention to the embroidery on the inside. Uh, there's no plastic kind of stuck to this, so they did a much better job of this embroidery than some of other previous items that I have seen. So it's not super itchy or anything. And same goes for the embroidery done on the two kitties, the patches. So these do look good as well. And this is also that same kind of stretchy material. You could definitely wear this in the wintertime. It is absolutely warm enough for that. And it's super, super comfortable to wear. It's just so soft. I, I'm very impressed with these pieces. I'm not huge about the color and I'm not huge about the giant prints of the cats, but honestly, just because this is so soft and it feels like a good quality, that's the reason why I decided to keep these. Also because I can totally see myself wearing these with those adorable pair of jeans that we just got from Hot Topic. I think this shirt would look awesome with those. Okay. Moving on. I am so impressed with this jacket. It is such a cool jacket. It feels very heavy duty. I ended up getting a size small and I would say that it feels just perfect on my size. It is a little bit fitted around my waist when I zip it up. However, there's a couple of side zippers that you can unhook in case it's a little bit too tight around your waist. So that was something that I considered given that my hips are kind of big, given that my hips are a bit more on the hourglass side. The inside of this jacket again is very, very soft to the touch. Not the same material as the two shirts that I just showed you, but this is, it's a nice cottony material. So this is made out of, let's see, the shell is cotton and nylon. The contrast is cotton nylon. Lining is also cotton and polyester. On the front of this jacket, we have this embroidery print of Sailor Uranus and Neptune with their planetary signs. There are a couple of really large pockets, very nicely done, very comfortable to wear. And on the back of this jacket, we have this beautiful print of Sailor Uranus and Neptune. Now this I'm going to say is the downfall of this jacket. I would love everything about this jacket, including the art on the back, if this art was printed in a much better quality. I say that because this is the kind of print job you can kind of see it here. See how shiny it is? That's the kind of print job that will tear. As you wash this, as you use it, as it gains wear and tear, this is the kind of thing that will rip. This print style is going to rip because it is not, it's not printed into the material. It's just like this, this shiny art that was plastered on the top of the material. I don't know what it's called specifically, but I've seen this before. 
and I do have some products that have like rips in the art because it just kind of peels off over time. If they had done it in a different style, I would probably keep this, but given that the art was not done in a very high quality, I'm gonna be returning this. Now with that jacket, we also got this very cool crossbody pouch. Now I'm calling this a pouch, but you could call it a purse as well. It's kind of in the middle in terms of size. This is a really, really beautiful piece that you could wear with that jacket and it would look perfect because it has that same art on the front of here. There's also this box lunch emblem up at the top and there are a couple of zippered compartments. You can see the interior of this has a cute print of the talismans. We have the talismans on the front right there. We have Neptune's mirror and Uranus's sword. I kind of like this print over here on the sides. It's really interesting. It sort of reminds me of the Star Trek holodeck. <laughs> I know that's really geeky, but this is definitely like Star Trek holodeck vibes and I'm I'm kind of digging it, not gonna lie. It looks really cool. <laughs> On the back here, we have their transformation wands and we do have a matching adjustable strap. The interior does have a zippered compartment, which I do appreciate. And we have that same printing going on in the center as well. I think this is a really beautiful crossbody pouch and I think it's big enough that you could fit like all your necessities in it and take it with you to like a theme park or wherever you're going for the day. It's very cute. Moving on, we have this piece that kind of confused me. So I have purchased box lunch woven button ups before in extra small and they fit my frame like to the T perfectly. And again, I am a five six with like an hourglass frame. This one was really big and I purchased it in an extra small. So I think this was listed as unisex sizing. So I figured an extra small would fit my frame perfectly again, but this one is very, very big and baggy. So they must have changed the sizing in terms of their woven button ups, maybe to make them more inclusive. But I do wish that they had like an extra, extra small that I could go to instead because this one is just slightly too big for me, as you can see when I'm wearing it here in the video. So according to this and similar to the previous woven button ups they've done, this one is also 100% rayon, which also means it's going to shrink a little bit if you dry it. So keep that in mind with rayon. So I'm hoping that maybe if I do dry this item, maybe it will shrink a little bit and then fit me a little bit better. But in terms of the print, these are super soft. I really like these rayon shirts. They're very, very soft, very thin. So definitely not like a winter item, but this is something you could wear into the springtime just fine. We have this beautiful embroidery of the logo for Sailor Moon. It's in this pretty lavender color, which I love. Lavender is my favorite. And then we have this fun print of a cityscape with Super Sailor Moon, Chibi Moon, and Tuxedo Mask all over it. It's the same print all over the shirt. It's definitely really cute. It's giving me 1990s vibes and I kind of love it. I will show you another bag. I love this bag. It's probably one of my favorites that has come out this year in terms of like Hot Topic and box lunch items. This one is so cute and it features all of the Sailor Guardians as well as these cute little gold accent pieces on both sides that kind of look like somebody stuck your hair barrettes on the side of your purse and I'm kind of digging that very casual look. It's very casual looking. You can use this as a handbag, absolutely. However, it does come with a couple of different straps. One of these straps can help you use it as a handbag, so you can put this on here and use it just by itself. Or you can use the longer strap, which is adjustable for using it as a crossbody. I appreciate that there is an opening in the back, so you could stick like important necessities in the back of this purse. To open it, click in on this button right here and then pull up. So it does lock it into place. This is nice. There's a couple of different pouches in the front for little things that you might wanna carry around with you, as well as a little zippered compartment and a pretty large compartment for everything that you might wanna carry around with you. Now, if you are wondering if you can remove the brats, you cannot, they are screwed in. I, get, I mean, I guess you could unscrew the screws, but I wouldn't do that. I would leave them there. And this checkered print does match the dress that they were selling as well. So if you bought both of those, they would match perfectly. 
I've got a little bit of wrinkling going on on mine right here, but that's okay because that goes on the back. This is such a cute little piece of art on the front. I appreciate that all of the Sailor Guardians are represented here. Okay, I just have two more pieces with this box lunch collaboration. It's a pretty quick one to get through, which is great because a lot of my videos recently have been very long. So I also ordered this racing jacket, this like NASCAR racing jacket in an extra small. However, it is still on the larger baggier side and apparently that's the trend like that's how you're supposed to wear these jackets this jacket is very very thick you can tell that they've included some interior lining in here to make it a bit more of a thicker jacket it doesn't feel like feathers or anything it feels like cotton but let's find out so this says it's 100 organic cotton there are a ton of details going into this jacket as well so feel free to watch me trying it on while i'm talking through it the sleeves are elastic there's no buttons then we have this cute cute print very similar to the bag i just showed you this has all of the different sailor guardians represented on the sleeves i don't know why the print is upside down on both of these sleeves and I'm wondering if that's just my jacket or if that's all of the jackets because when you're wearing this uh shouldn't these be right side up I feel like they should be right side up but they're upside down when you're wearing this on your shoulders so I don't know what's up with that we have Sailor Moon up here and Pretty Guardian on the other shoulder some cute little embroidery patches of the kitties as well as Sailor Moon 1994 right there and we have some really cool embroidery around the Sailor Moon logo on the front the zipper is covered and then we have have a button up at the top near your neck if you want to button it up and there are two buttons at the bottom this logo is not full embroidery i think it would have been much cooler if it was like a full-on patch but this is like printed and then embroidered around it so you can definitely tell they went a little bit cheaper on the logo here there's a couple of pockets thank you for the pockets and then we have the back. And again, this is where I think it fell short. Like this almost looks like quilting. And you can tell that it looks like they just plastered the art here in this like super shiny material. And then they embroidered around it, which made it kind of, it puckers. And I'm not a big fan of that because it makes it look like her face is wrinkly. Like homegirls should not have a wrinkly face. She's 14 years old and we should not see wrinkles going on here. So I'm not a big fan of how they did this artwork on the back because you see that quilting going on here and it just does not look high quality. It makes it look kind of subpar. This is the logo on the back and I think they should have done the logo like this on the front because you do have that additional embroidery going into the logo on the inside of the border as opposed to just the outer border with the black. So I do think that they could have done this a little bit better but overall it is very beautiful it's very pretty i just wish this was done a little bit better this is definitely like box lunch quality there's a lot of little hanging strings around the jacket and this is the last piece and i'm sure it's going to be a lot of people's favorites i love this crossbody slash backpack slash reversible crossbody and backpack it's so cool on the front of this we have super sailor moon's fuku represented However, on the back, we have tuxedo mask represented. So talk about like the perfect cosplay bag to wear to an anime convention. This is so cute. And I love the way that they've introduced and complemented both characters on both sides of these, this bag. So let's take a closer look. There are a couple of very small pockets on either side of this backpack. First, we have tuxedo masks outfit represented on the back along with this cute little flyaway cape. It's very cute. There's a couple of buckles down here at the bottom. And on the Sailor Moon side, we have Sailor Moon's Fuku represented with the skirt down here, as well as her shoulder straps and her front bow is represented on the front there. On the tuxedo mask side, there is no additional zippered pouch. On Sailor Moon side, we do have a front zipper. There's a small compartment on the outer edge in case you wanna put anything little in there. Cute little print on the interior as well. And then we have a couple of zippered compartments on both sides of this backpack. So technically you can use this on either side. So you can put this side towards your back or the Sailor Moon side towards your back, depending on who you wanna represent for that day. There's an additional strap in case you wanna switch this out to be a crossbody. Both compartments are about the same. However, there is an additional zippered compartment on the tuxedo mask side. So if you want to wear this with tuxedo mask facing your back, just put these buckles 
onto the tuxedo mask side so that it holds against your frame. If you want to show off the tuxedo mask side, you simply switch around these bottom buckles and buckle it on the Sailor Moon side. And if you want to wear it as a crossbody, just use this instead. It is adjustable and buckle this on each side of the handle. This is the second super versatile backpack that we have gotten from these American lines and I'm really impressed with them. I very much like them. The previous one that we got was one of my favorite bags of the year and this is one of my favorite bags of this year as well. So that is my entire box lunch haul for winter 2024. Let me know if you have any questions about those items and definitely leave a comment down below if there's anything else that you want me to review on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Johnny.